Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a Vista Village Come Shop With Me and a haul, a little bit of a haul. But first off, if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Matt. Welcome to my channel. Please take a moment to subscribe if you're not already. It's free. There's no cost to you for doing so. I try to do a Vista Village Come Shop With Me and haul if I buy anything, if like at least once a month I try. Um, it's only down the road from me, but... Um, yeah, I try and do that, but I do loads of other videos as well. So if that's your kind of jam, just take a moment to subscribe. But as I said, today's video is a come shop with me around Vista Village. Um, and we'll get onto that first and then we'll do a little bit of a haul at the end. Because I did pick up some stuff in Baba. <laughs> I want, I, I really, I just had to buy something for the bag. If you don't know, like, Wallace and Gromit, this isn't Wallace and Gromit, but it's Sean the Sheep. Was my childhood. Um... So I just had to pick up something to get the bag because it's so cute. I love it. I love it. This is like so good. And Timmy is on the side. Oh my god. So good. Love Sean the Sheep. Um, I love that Wild Bird's like collaborated with Sean the Sheep. If you didn't realise that I bought some stuff in Barber. But um, I'll show you that at the end. Um, but first off, let's have a look around some bits in Vista Village, a little bit of a come shop with me. Let's go. We're going to get straight down to business and we're going to go in the new Dior store, which I have been in before, but I didn't really get much footage, but today I've got more. Um, but let's first have a look at the displays on the outside. And we've got fairy lights and we've got some menswear here. Very nice tailoring, but inside, let's have a look and see how much a hoodie is in here. Um, there we go. That is the price of that hoodie. It's literally a hoodie with like Dior written on it. I know, very basic, but you know, you're paying for Dior. We've got this like jacket. Look at the detailing on the sleeves there. That is the rest of the store. Um, if you want to see how much a puffer coat in here is, here we go. I did this very slow mo. Can you see? That is the reduced price £2,925. In terms of a jumper or anything, this one I thought was quite nice with this really nice teal collar and the Dior logo. Um, in terms of price for this, £975 reduced from £1,500. So, you know, it's still expensive but discounted. Next, we'll go in Burbs, Burberry, um, and they had an offer on if you spent so much. This is not a traditional Burberry um, trench coat with, like, the double-breasted, but this is £895 reduced from one two nine zero, um. But I think it is really nice. I like the one-breasted coats these days. Um. In terms of t-shirt wise, this one with a little TB on, which I know is like not old Burberry, but it's old Burberry in terms of it's not new Burberry. This was three hundred and fifty pounds. Doesn't look like it was reduced because there was no reduced. Well, it probably was, but you know. Then, um, hoodie wise, we've got this. Like, would you say that's lime green, pea green, with a Burberry little logo there. And in terms of the price for this, let's have a look. If I can open it, it's always so difficult to find these. This was 435 reduced from 620. So yeah, one of those. Um, and then I really like that little bag on there. If you want something a bit different that's not a trench coat, we've got this like, I don't know what you call this, tech coat? I don't know. This was 525 reduced from 750. Um, and we have a little look that's a nice coat i didn't see the price of that one though i don't think i could find it easily but traditional more traditional trench coat these don't have the burberry check on the collar but these are 695 reduced from 1190 um you've got it in navy you've got it in the traditional stone as i said it doesn't have the reverse bit on the collar sometimes has the burberry check but these ones didn't um but again this one 695 for the stone beige you know like traditional burberry color um, and then you've got, a lot of it was recent Burberry, but not the new Burberry, if that makes any sense. Like Burberry Streetwear style when it did that. Um, with this Burberry block logo hoodie here, 355 reduced from 510. I think that was additional sale, but let's go in um, a look down here. Next, we're heading towards, this is like towards Ralph Lauren end. We're going to go into Bake in a moment, but we'll just first see that there's a new Marc Jacobs store just here here now you'll be disappointed guys if you want the reduced the tote bags because they're full price in this store 
the 2023 versions unfortunately they didn't have any reduced ones they have like slight variation well big variations if you wanted to have a look but we're in Ted Baker now this jumper is a bit of me in terms of coloring still 85 pounds though um even in like Ted Baker um we have this like I'd say this is a coat gun kind of thing and that's 169 um and then this jumper here is so let's see what the price is should I clean my lens? And this is £59. So there we go. So, sorry it wasn't too extensive. I kind of, I got there. I actually got there at 9. And I'm going to do a video on, like, tips and tricks. But um, I got there at 9. And it was so empty. It was so, like, awkward to film. Because I would be the only one in the shop. So I couldn't really get too much footage. But I kind of left it a bit later to like film some stuff maybe being there an hour I kind of went in Pratt and then went in like some of the bigger stores as I saw as you saw when in Burberry I got a few shots in Burberry managed to show you how much like a trench coat and stuff is in there and I did manage to show you a few bits in the new few bits more than I did before in the Dior store um so much more I mean that but yeah on the prices which you know are still high but you know it is Dior um but yeah, so I didn't really get too much footage, I'm afraid, um, because it's very awkward and they really don't like you filming. So it's very difficult to do um, discreetly without them seeing. So when I was in Dior, I, f I feel like they don't even like the big no-no in Dior and kind of things like that. So yeah, you, I was very discreet um, and didn't get much. Um, I did go in some places. I didn't even go in All Saints this time because I just thought I don't need to buy anything in All Saints because I bought something in All Saints last time. If you want to see that, check out my video from last time. Um, but like I went in Ralph Lauren and things like that and they have, they had a bigger sale section in Ralph Lauren, like sale on sale, so like on top of the outlet prices um, and things like that. And there's new stores like, I went in Marc Jacobs. I've got to say, if you're looking for a Marc Jacobs the tote bag which I was really wanting them to be discounted they're not when you go in there they're not they're the 2023 collection they have them in there but they're the full price version so and that is what a lot of stores are doing in Bista now which is very annoying um if you're thinking everything is going to be discounted in a bargain it's not um but yeah, so I was hoping for like maybe a little bit of an obscure colour or something, maybe a dark or something that they've discontinued colour wise in Marc Jacobs for a um tote bag, but they didn't. Um they were full price. So I just walked in, saw that they were in the 2023 collection, and then walked back out again. So there we go. That's like one of the things I wanted to get didn't they've now got a theory shop which i didn't go in because um i didn't um i suppose theory i believe is part of uniqlo isn't it i believe um like owned by uniqlo or something so it might be a bit more affordable i don't know i've not been in a theory i've not seen anything from theory i know they're a bit more they're high priced than uniqlo but they might not be as high priced as some of the brands there um and i went in like lululemon and stuff like that they had some 19 pound shorts in lululemon um for running and things but they did not have a zip pocket and that's a big no-no for me i need a zip pocket when i go running not that i've been running in a while but like when i go running i need a zip pocket to put my keys in so i know the store they're not going to fall out um so yeah a few things but let me show you and like i went in new balance and stuff so new balance if you want i can't remember what the price of um can't remember the name and then the five tens i don't know but the more chunky ones, if you want them, they're £100 in there instead of £150. But, like, I saw them in the New Balance outlet in Wembley for a lot cheaper um, once when they did a sale. And I went to Wembley one day and then went to Vista the next and there was completely different prices. So you need to take that as you will. But let me show you the two items I bought in Barber. Um, I spent 56 pounds um and these were on what did i say i spent 36 pounds if i didn't say that and these were on sale sale um so i don't want to ruin the bag let me take both of these out um one is going to be a gift i think i'm going to give it to dad for christmas or something um and it was 
I don't have, I can't see how much it was originally. Let me just try. Let me try for you to see because they've just stuck a million, a million labels on top of this. How much were you originally? Okay, originally it was 40. Oh, can you see? There is a four there. 49.95 then it went down to 33 in the outlet or the village price and then i got it for 24 oh i just bit my tongue but basically i don't really want to unfold it um it is this lined t-shirt like the striped t-shirt with that barber logo there so there we go that is what that one is and then i got something so if you don't know there's two kind of brands to barber there's barber and then there's Barber International, which is kind of, if we want to go down that route, diffusion brand in a way. Um, let me see how much this was originally, because this is a very basic t-shirt. This was, apparently, $24.95 originally, um, which is how much this one, the other one on its own in the village was. Um, because this was practically £50 and that was practically £25, so you can see the difference. However, this has not got as many design features. Um... And then it went down to £16 village price. And then additionally, it went down to 12 Um, I will open this one because I'm not giving this one as a gift. This one's for me. I got it in a medium. Now, it is just a grey t-shirt. However, there is a little bit of detailing. See the detailing with the Barber International logo just on the back there. Which is like right at the top. So there's a little bit of like that so it's not there's not there's literally nothing else on here i don't think there's anything on the sleeves don't think there's anything by the sides no it's literally the only branding of this is on the back which i thought was quite unique you don't really ever see that too much but yeah that is everything i picked up really not a lot to be honest i just wanted this because this bag which I know I spent 36 quid just for the bag, but it's so nice. And as I said, this is like my childhood, and it's like a gift bag. Um, and it's got Sean the Sheep on the bag. Um, and you can put him from on it there. So nice, so nice, but yeah, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not already, please take a moment to subscribe. It's free. There's no cost to you for doing so. Just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.